So, in this episode I'm going to install the aft and the forward decks. I already have them arched on the barrels. Uh, I'm hoping that that will maintain enough arch so that uh, it has a nice curve going entirely. I'm also going to work on the hatches here. Uh, I'm going to make them as big as I can within reason. Probably about 18 inches long, uh, straight sides. Uh, that's mainly so that I can throw life jackets and uh, actually have a small cooler. I want to make sure that it's big enough that the small cooler will fit in there. And that way I can keep the uh, center part of the uh, canoe free to mess around with and walk around in. Anyway, I'm going to get to work here and I will video it. So the hatches should be uh, fairly interesting. The top is going to be arched to match this arch here. There's going to be uh, draw latch, stainless steel draw latches that pull down on it and compress a foam gasket, probably made from a uh, camping foam mat. Uh, we got one of those, and it makes a pretty good seal. It's a closed cell foam, about half inch thick. I'm going to get to work now.
So in this episode, I installed the decks and the, um, I guess this is called combing for the hatch and uh, glued the hatches together. Um, I did have a small technical problem with the videos where, uh, uh, what I call wetware problem, where I deleted some videos where they were completely copied over. So I didn't get this part here. Um, this is where I glass taped and glass the uh, plumbing to the deck. Uh, this here is still solid. I'm going to wait until everything's a little bit harder, and then I'll just cut this out with the um, the oscillating tool. But this worked pretty good. This will be rounded off. It'll be this will actually be glassed on the inside here with the fillet and tape. And uh, then I'll round this over, probably use a sander because I do have some staples here and I don't want it to uh, dull the router bit. But, uh, these are these are identical, they're symmetrical, doesn't matter which one is going on. There's actually going to be one hinge here and one draw latch here and it will open up like this so that I can um, stand in the canoe and not have to worry about reaching way up here to do another draw latch. That's that for this video. Next week, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to work on. Let's see. Next week, I'm going to do the outer, the outer whale, out whale, and I'm also going to start looking at the mounts for the Yakos for the crossbeam to support the Amas. That's it for this week. Everybody have a nice week.